How is Vera Britton, a woman's point of view, different than a man's point of view of World War I? Wow, I'd like to start off on the easy side, James. No, it's going to be tough tonight. <laughs> uh, well, look, uh, well, because she's a woman, you know, and women are incredibly connected to their emotions, and they, there's not, you know, there's a sort of, um, they're the ones who, I, hate, I hesitate to use the word left behind, because of course she goes out there and joins him in a way, but she had to deal with the anguish of not knowing every day whether he would be on that list. And, you know, I think mothers and sons and women and their brothers and their lovers, I think it's a very, very particular, powerful emotion when you're worrying about your man. And I think that's what she does. Yeah, I think in the film we, we see it quite clearly a couple of times, the, the stifled nature of, a, of being a man at this, especially in this period. Maybe in that beach scene as well, her, her bringing him back into back connecting him again, saying stop being so brave, stop, you, you know, you can be vulnerable, and asking him that. Um, that's kind of, that's an important scene for that reason as well. 